One of the bigger things already being talked about in NFL circles is the uniform that Allen Robinson's going to be wearing next season. A ton of fantasy implications that come from it. So I wanted to share a few places that I've seen some rumblings about as potential landing spots for Robinson, but then also a dark horse candidate at the end that I haven't seen too much about, but something that I thought was a really intriguing place for him to go from both a fantasy perspective and a team perspective where I think it would be a fantastic match. First team that I want to bring up are the Baltimore Ravens. This Lamar Jackson Baltimore Ravens offense just straight up hasn't had that true X receiver that has helped so many young quarterbacks in recent memory throughout the league. Think of Stephon Diggs going to Buffalo with Josh Allen, Jarvis Landry and Odell Beckham Jr. going to Cleveland with Baker, and even DeAndre Hopkins landing in Arizona with Kyler Murray. And it goes to show that Baltimore hasn't had this guy, at least in Lamar Jackson era, with some of the most simple stuff. Here we have the total amount of 100-plus yard games since 2019. Marquise Brown and Willie Sneed have totaled three. Allen Robinson has seven in that time span. From a little bit more of an advanced perspective, this chart here is pretty cool. It's the success rate over average the Baltimore receiving unit has against the NFL league average wide receiver based off field position. So, for example, in the 2020 regular season, the Baltimore receiving unit was 3% better than the league average on targets to the deep left part of the field. The Baltimore receiving unit was 9% worse than league average on targets to the short middle part of the field. Their net negative 3.5% on all locations in the regular season. And this just goes to show that they're really struggling from that unit. And signing a guy like Allen Robinson in free agency could really help their offense mightily. Second landing spot that's also a little bit more obvious than the New York Jets, primarily because of the cap situation they have for next year. According to SportX NFL Team Salary Cap Tracker, the Jets are estimated to have the third most cap space in 2021. So, assuming the Jets select a quarterback with that second overall pick, it only makes sense to invest some of that cap space and any of your financial resources into a piece to surround that second overall pick with to prevent a situation like Sam Darnold inherited coming out of USC where he was barely working with anything. And Allen Robinson in his young career has been able to produce and prove a lot with very little but the quarterback position. So, That matchup right there just makes too much sense in free agency. And this is all assuming the Jets end up not being players in the Deshaun Watson trade sweepstakes that are currently going on as we speak. So those are a few a little bit more obvious potential landing spots for Robinson in free agency. I wanted to share a place that I haven't really seen out there, but somewhere I wanted to potentially make the case for being a great fit on both sides and from a fantasy perspective. That is with the Las Vegas Raiders. So according to PFF, Allen Robinson is the only wide receiver in the NFL with 11 or more deep ball catches in each of the last two regular seasons. And deep balls are deemed as targets 20 yards or more downfield. If you look at adjusted completion percentage metrics on these deep attempts from quarterbacks in the 2020 regular season, among quarterbacks with at least 30 attempts, Mitch Trubisky is the worst adjusted completion percentage in the league at 18.2%. But Derek Carr of the Raiders is the best in the NFL at a 53.3% clip. Nelson Aguilar and not Henry Ruggs was actually the premier deep threat in this offense last year and really was meant to complement a guy like Darren Waller up the middle of the field. Hypothetically, if a guy like Allen Robinson were to come in and replace Aguilar on the outside, who's also a free agent this offseason, I think he would complement their Pro Bowl tight end perfectly and really help the team from an offensive perspective. And more specifically, I think aligning the strengths of Robinson and Derek Carr on these types of deep attempts would be a great match. I mean, the fact that Robinson was able to put up that production and those contested catches, given his quarterback play, is just unbelievable. And I try to imagine him going to Vegas with a guy like Derek Carr, who's not afraid to sling it and is actually successful in doing so. It would let Robinson not have to rely so much upon a huge target share and good game scripts to get a ton of fantasy production week by week. He would have a lot higher quality targets from better quarterback play. Here we have team passing and rushing efficiency through wildcard week on early downs of drives, which are first and second down. And from a dropback EPA per play perspective, as you can see here on the x-axis, on these early downs, there's really not too much of a difference between what the Bears and the Raiders have done. But when you look at late downs of drives, which are third and fourth down, there's a huge efficiency difference here on dropback EPA per play, as seen here on the x-axis. The Raiders have been far more efficient on these late downs of drives than the Bears. If you're wondering if this is from the result of a small sample, take a look at this quarterback efficiency graph. Over the last three regular seasons, this is among quarterbacks with at least 450 plays on late downs, again, third and fourth downs of drives. 
Derek Carr has been a far more efficient quarterback than Mitch Trubisky yet, moving the chains, extending drives, and bringing the team down the field. Now, I don't know how f- actually feasible it is for a team like Las Vegas to sign Allen Robinson in free agency, but hypothetically, if they were to sign him on the market, one of the biggest problems I would imagine people could have from a fantasy perspective would be Robinson losing on that target share and a more pass-happy offense in Chicago and going to a place like Las Vegas where he's going to have to concede targets right away to some other guys. But I would say, one, when you're signing a guy like that on the open market in general for a sizable amount of money, you're already conceding targets to him right away just solely based off the contract you're paying for him. That's what's nice about contracts and certainty in fantasy football is you know those guys are going to get the opportunity. Sometimes that's all you can ask for. And second of all, the efficiency standpoints that Las Vegas has as relative to Chicago is just fantastic for Robinson to come into and help out with, but then they can also help him in turn. On those third down numbers, the Raiders being so much better than Chicago just really extends drives, which means a guy like Allen Robinson would be able to be on the field longer, have more play opportunities, and him coming in could help out on those early downs and push it over the limit to where every aspect of the passing game is just better for a team perspective and for Robinson individually in Las Vegas than it would be in Chicago. Um, second, I would say, is some of those deep attempts. As stated earlier, Robinson would not necessarily have to rely as much upon some of the volume he was getting in Chicago if there are weeks where, or on a week-by-week basis, where he's just – not really getting some of that same volume. He can make up for it on those explosive plays and explosive passes from better quarterback spots. So those were some of the reasons that I cited Las Vegas as being a really intriguing spot. I hadn't seen them too much out there, no, nowhere near as much as the Ravens and Jets, but just wanted to share that and want to hear your thoughts on Alan Robinson's free agency situation in general, what you think about the Raiders, as well as Elijah Moore from a prospect standpoint. So Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you enjoy this type of content, and hope you guys have a great rest of your weekend.